that map. Who is that? Who is... That is Sirius Black, that is. Don't tell me you've never been here in a Sirius Black. He's a murderer. And... It's the grim! <coughs> Harry. Well, you'd know all about the madness within, wouldn't you, Remus? <laughs> I understand. Let's kill him, Remus. Enough talk, Remus. Come on, let's kill him. I did my waiting! Twelve years of it! In Azkaban! But wait, Peter Pettigrew! He's in this room, right now! Come on, come on, Peter! Come on, come on and play! Here's the proof. Brilliant, Snape. Once again, you put your keen and penetrating mind to the task, and as usual, come to the wrong conclusion. <laughs> Give me a reason. I beg you. Severus, don't be a fool. He can't help it, it's happened by Severus, now. be quiet! Don't fight yourself, Remus! Uh, Why don't you run along and play with your chemistry set? To flicker of fear. Uh, yes. Kiss. I can only imagine what that must be like to endure. Never lies. Pettigrew's alive. And he's right there. Don't use your rat. Twelve years. Curiously long life for a common garden rat. He's missing a cherry cow. And cut it off. And everyone would think he was dead. And then he transformed into a rat. Scabbers! How you dare know. you speak? How dare you talk about James in front of me? What would you have done? I would have died! James suggested that I make the change permanent. The tail I could live with. But the fleas, they're murder. I'll never forget the first time I walked through those doors. It'll be nice to do it again as a free man. That was a noble thing you did back there. He doesn't deserve it. Besides, dead, the truth lies with him. I don't know if you know, Harry, but when you were born, James and Lily made me your godfather. I know. Well, I can understand if you choose to stay with your aunt and uncle. But if you ever wanted a different home... What? Come and live with you? Well, it's, it's, it's just a thought. I can understand if you don't. Oh, friend! Have you taken your potion to light? Uh, uh... <laughs> Forever grateful for this to both of you. One day, perhaps. And besides, you're meant to be here. But you're innocent. And you know it. I expect you're tired of hearing this. But you look so like your father. That I got to spend so much time with James and Lily and you so little. But know this. Ones that love us never really leave us. And you can always find them in here. You really are the brightest witch of your age. <laughs> Harry Potter. Why? The man wants to build up his army again. The huge numbers at his command are not just witches and wizards, but all manner of dark creatures. But gathering followers isn't the only thing he's interested in. Something he didn't have last time. No, that's enough. He can take the order straight away. Good, I want to join. What's life without a little risk? Anyway, I wanted you to have this. 
Voldemort wiped out her entire family. It's been 14 years. And still a day doesn't go by, I don't. It feels like it did before. You keep it. Anyway, I suppose you're the young ones now. Not to me, anyway. You grew up here? This is my parents' house. This is for the order. About the only useful thing I've been able to do. My mother did that after I ran away. Charming woman. I was 16. And your dad's. I see him so much in you, Harry. You are so very much alike. Serious. When I... And afterwards in Dumbledore... I want you to listen to me very carefully, Harry. You're not a bad person. You understand? Good people and death eaters. We've all got both light and dark inside us. That's who we really are. When all this is over, we'll be a proper family. Get away from my blood, son. Now listen to me. I want you to take the others and get out of here. Done beautifully. Nice one, James!